I'm playing Ancestors the Human Odyssey, a game available in the Epic Games Store. Huge thanks to everyone out there using my support creator code Loka Hansen when they're buying the game. Thank you for your likes, your comments, your subscriptions, but let's dig into the game guys. Alrighty guys, so I'm continuing pretty much where I left off the last time around. Still learning by doing, managing the area around my settlement. And it's time to gather some coconuts. Oh yes it is. And I have my eye on the weird stuff up in the upper left corner. I'm thinking it is some kind of a beehive or something. But I I plan on checking that out later today. I um, kind of want to try out some new stuff today. Just continue like uh, branching out. Finding out what I can do, trying to make a, a stockpile of coconuts right now to see if I can somehow encourage the other chips, the other monkeys, the other the other like pre-human creatures to do something. So far, they have been very very passive. So uh, okay, I somehow managed to communicate to the others from up here. So we got better at communication. That is a good thing. But right now, I want the coconuts because food oh yeah loads of food all right so we have a pile of coconuts yeah you can't build anything out of coconuts i wasn't expecting that but you know it's uh, it's worth trying no no idea what these uh monkey cat kind of things can do but anyway let's try to see if we can get up here see if we can get some honey or some wax i have no idea what we can do at this stage of development but um they are right there it is <clears throat> uh, yeah, that was not the angle I was going for. All right, just disregard that. Let's inspect this stuff here. What are you doing? I wanted you to inspect the bees. Come on. Oh, okay, new gathering spot discovered. All right, we have a beehive. And what can I do? How do I, how do I gather is what I'm wondering. Okay. Can I? No. Oh, we can grab coconuts from up here. I was hoping I could somehow scoop over there. I'm probably going to be needing some kind of a tool. So perhaps my, perhaps I can use a stick or something. But now we have more coconuts. Whoa, that dude was jumping down. So he is following me. He's just not doing anything. But more coconuts for the coconut pile. All right. All right. Well, we have a, we have a stick. So, you know what? Let's, um... I'm thinking about what I want to do. I have a stick. What are you looking at? Do you, do you want me to use the stick? Are you not afraid of me? I even have a cat on my back. All right, well, let's give it a shot. See if we can, if we go up there with a stick, poke the beehive to, I don't know, like make one of them fall down or something. Okay, that looks unhealthy. Looks like I'm taking damage and it does not appear like I can do anything. Trying to switch hands. Let's try to go. Okay, why why am I getting the blackouts? Okay, I'm right under the beehive. What if I can I like alter? No, I can drop. This is um. Yeah, <laughs> this was not what I was hoping for. I was hoping I could you know take the stick and poke the beehive and like one of them would attach to it. And no. Well, it was worth a shot trying to <laughs> throw the stick at the beehive, but I don't think that is how this game works. But anyway, we're, gonna, we're not going to be leaving empty-handed because we have another coconut. Oh, yes, we do. So I guess we can we can grab that. It, I mean, I want points for trying, if nothing else. So, boom. <laughs> at the edge of the settlement. Wow. Long jumping for the win. Well, that was a bust. That was a complete bust. It was uh, not... What's going on? What's up with the fog? I have no idea. Well, that was not what I was... That was not what I was hoping to share now that I started recording, but that's not how you do the beehive, if you are wondering. But let's try out something else. So we have a pile of coconuts. All right. I decided to, like, get... <laughs> yeah! That was exactly what I was hoping would happen. I didn't even get time to say it. I've been... <laughs> removing the outer layer of the coconut and I wanted to try to see if I could just make a hole in it and I could with my sharpened tool that I made in the last episode. So now I have a pierced coconut. 
Not a smashed one, but a pierced one that I can drink from. So we now have multiple ways that we can consume coconut. We can use it as a source of drink and a source of eat. So that is actually pretty amazing considering that we have a lot of coconuts in the, in the area. So it's like so much food now. So much food. That is really, really great. All right. That was, that was pretty amazing. <sighs> I'm pretty happy about that. So once again, I discovered a new way to use one of the tools I have, and that is really what has me so excited about this game. You think that you have seen it all, not that I think that I'm on day seven of gaming, but you know, I had a coconut, I could crack it, I could peel it, I could eat it, but of course we can also pierce it. It is, it is pretty crazy how much you can do with, uh, with the tools in this game. Here we have it again, boom, like that. Use the basalt chopper as a tool at least twice, complete it, an evolutionary feat. I'm not entirely sure what that means yet, but hopefully I'm I'm gonna dig a little bit more into that because we have this crazy tree of neurons, of generations, of evolutions. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be digging more into that. Here we have another evolution feat, uh, adaptable metabolism. So I have a lot of reading up to do. I'm still very early on on my gaming just really i'm recording hours and hours of this and hopefully i'm going to be cutting some of it together into meaningful bits and bytes that uh, is worth sharing but let's lie down and take a look perhaps at um, at the skill tree all right so this is how the the neuronal network is looking right now we have a new matured neuron for communication body language once connected, it will be possible to ask a particular clan member to approach. So I can say, hey, you, dude, get over here. I don't know. It's probably useful. <laughs> if I can make them do something, if I can just like tell them to come to me, um, yeah, we will find out. But through the sense of hearing, hold and release, great. So I am definitely going to be fooling more around with that. And once again, unlocking this opens up for even more paths for more things I can do in this network. And this is like the first skill tree. Then we have the generation and the evolution. At some point, I'm going to look into that. But I have so much more I want to discover just like in the basic part of the game. So it is probably going to be quite a few days before I move to the next generation. But anyway, that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. So we got that stuff under control, set our new skill points. And we're sleeping. I love how the sleeping works where you can just hold down the sleep button and time flies by like crazy. You have these small dream things. <laughs> like there is one with a club and one with a pointy stick. Oh, really guys. So. I decided to fast forward a little bit and just drink a little bit of this yummy coconut milk because my monkey was thirsty. Oh yes it was. Day 8 of gaming. Coconut is like the main thing that I have been working on. I have been trying to gather resources in the areas to make small piles of things and I have been looking at the area and look at this. A granite rock can alter a pierced coconut so I can pierce it, then I can drink the milk, then I can smash it, and then I can eat the coconut. So we can, with a coconut, like satisfy two of our needs. Probably like the getting started <laughs> information I would have liked to have the most. Start by piercing it, drink it, then eat it, and you get to use multiple tools to get all those skill points up and running and you get to fulfill your like drinking needs and your eating needs just in one go. So uh, <laughs> that is pretty cool. I don't know if they get tired of eating the same thing over and over, but um, if they don't, we can always just take some horse tail. Oh yes, we can, because who doesn't like horse tail? <laughs> this is so crazy. All right, yeah, I can't eat the monkey. We're not cannibals here. That's not what we're doing. But we definitely, definitely need to uh, to go down and play a little bit more down by the river. So anyway, guys, just a short update. I'm like so much gaming. Everything is new to me. So I'm just trying to share a few bits of bytes 
as I experience the early progression in the game. Hopefully in a week or two, I will be a bit more of a champ and have more hardcore stuff to share. For now guys, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for your subscription, your likes, your comments. Put it down there. What do you guys feel about the game?